Don't Starve Together New Reigns Beta comes up with a new content every now and then, but with very little or no description. So the player should figure it out by wasting their own time or wait until someone with no life uploads a video about it. On this episode of What's New, let's see what's added on the recent update Arts and Crafts. First, we can now plant and harvest mushroom using Mushroom Farm. You can either plant the mushroom caps you just picked or the spores that spawn from these fun caps and mush trees. Planting spores will yield up to 6 mushroom in 3 days, whereas planting mushroom caps gives only maximum 4. You can also give a spoiled mushroom to instantly pick a fresh one, but remember that the farm will need a fresh living log after every 4 harvest. Like any other farm plots, this too becomes useless during winter, as all the mushrooms will drop as rots. Also, if you started a mushroom farm with a spore, there is a 50% of chance of spawning a new one when it fully grows. Moondial keeps the track of the moon cycle for those who can't count the days. Now you'll be able to prepare for the upcoming full moon and all the fun activities such as getting attacked by werepigs, ghosts, reanimated clockworks, and even more werepigs with hounds. Yay! The new sculpting table allows you to craft various beautiful statues to decorate your base. You can turn cut stones and marbles into hornucopia that will compensate for something you don't have, and a bubble pipe statue that looks as ridiculous as it sounds. Additional crafting sketches could be obtained by mining various pre-existing statues, or by reanimating the clockworks. This way you'll be able to unlock pawn, rook, knight, bishop, queen, and king statue. There are more unconventional ways to acquire these sketches. One, you can dig up the graves and trade these chest trinkets with Pig King for Rook, Knight, and Bishop sketches. Two, rip apart these tumbleweeds and you'll maybe be able to find sketches for Pawn, Queen, and King for very low chance. Anyway, it's all there so you can play the world's most inefficient chess game. And soon you'll realize that these three chess pieces hide a terrible secret. During the new moon, aka the moonless night, these statues will start shaking, and hammering or destroying them will unleash their shadow counterparts, all very determined to kill the one that set them free. If you're suicidal enough, you can properly carry out the ritual by crafting one of each statues. As you can see, each of them has their own unique ability, and when you manage to kill one, the rest will grow larger, stronger, and faster. So if you have no friends to die in your stead, you are in for a bad time. If you finally manage to kill all of them, you will get some Nightmare Fuels, Nightmare Armor, Nightmare Sword, and a Shadow Atrium, which use is yet unknown. If I should give any advice, keep the Knight for the last. Apparently, if attacked by number of mobs at once, there is a chance for the knight to be glitched and frozen, making it a lot easier to kill. And finally, there are the fossil fragments you could find in the caves. Stalagmites have 5% chance of dropping a fossil when mined, but spilagmites, the ones that are infested with spiders, will drop fossil 100% of times, so the risk is yours to take. You'll need 8 fossil fragments to build this odd skeleton, and there are two versions. So choose whichever suits your base, or maybe both. If you don't like what you see, simply smash it with your hammer and rebuild it. It's just a safer decoration compared to these guys. And that is all the new content from Arts and Crafts. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall be back with the next update. Cheers!